So hello, my name is Dominic, I'm also known as Don Berger on Instagram. I'm a Montefortuna Cigars ambassador. And tonight we are invited by Montefortuna Cigars to have the pleasure to be at the event, the world premiere launch of the Cohiba Novedosos. Hello guys, I'm Robert, maybe better known on Instagram as the Cigar Smoker. I'm also a brand ambassador of Montefortuna Cigars. And I'm really happy to be in Madrid today because of the new launch of Cohiba Novos. So Robert, tell me about your first cigar. What was your first cigar? I can't remember <laughs> really what, what was. It was a Romeo Giulietta, sure, but I don't know what the total was. It was 15 years ago. We were on vacation in Taiwan, in Bangkok. And a friend of mine introduced me into the world of cigars. And he said to me, Hey Robert, tonight we're going to the club and drink some, some single malts or whatever. As you do. And yes, <laughs> and uh, after that we'll smoke a cigar. I never smoked a cigar before. And that was for the first time. I Did you smoke I really cigarettes enjoyed. before? Or no, never I smoked. never smoked cigarettes. Wow. In my life, man. And you just started with the cigars? Yes. Um, and since and, then? And human cigars. <laughs> and since then you, you smoke? Uh, it's 15 years now. 15 years, wow, that's amazing. Uh, my first cigar was a... Uh, I think it was a Monte... No, no, Monte Cristo. Oye de Monterrey, Epicur number two. So that's the... That's the cigar that got recommended to me to start with. Yeah. It's kind of smooth. Kind of easy going, but there still it was like, like this, the, the, this blurry effect of it, um, yeah. I wasn't used to cigars, obviously. Um, I smoked cigarettes when I was 14 till 24, then I stopped from one day to the other, and I started, actually not that, that uh, long ago like you, not that uh, big aficionado, long time aficionado like you, but uh, four, four, four or five years ago. So, yeah, long, long time for me already so to smoke cigars. You, I think it's something you go grow into it. It's yes. not like you, yes. you have to know everything right away. No. It's something you can. It was a hobby first and then a passion. Yeah, something but you, you it's no need to, to smoke every day. It can be also a hobby, not yeah. burn. I have more pleasure when I smoke kind of less, you know, like maybe two, three days I yes. stop and then I have a cigar and I enjoy it much more than if I smoke exactly. every day. Exactly. So, yeah, but, you know, that's, every, everybody is different, so there are people who smoke every day, that's, that's okay for me, don't judge. <laughs> Tell me, Dominic, what's your favorite cigar format? Format? Robustos. Yeah. For me too. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> I think it's, a, it's a, one of the most popular yes. uh, sizes of the cigar industry. It's, it's like, not, not too long, it's not too, too heavy ring. Yeah, I just don't... like perfect size, right? Yes, because these new sizes it's not really my like robusto. You have an hour of smoke time. One and a half. Hour. One and a half. So yeah, perfect, perfect time. Okay. Let's, let's, let's do it. I have a question. Yes. Like some people tell me, told me to do this first. You never do that. I always do that. Why? <laughs> because I don't know. It's just I got used to it first. I do it, and also because of the cap, when it's a bit dry, it could get spoiled. You never had that? Right. Well, maybe it's just a myth. Right. I, I always. And another thing, do you light it first? I mean, you cut it first and then light it, or light it first and then cut it? It's always right. a big right. debate. Right. Right. Cut, it. You cut it first. Yeah. People, some people say you uh, light it first and then you cut it. I don't know. Yeah, that's really true. Well, you can do. I you do it like this. I yes. This one. Okay. 
más quiero decir te quiero y hago mi vida ponle toda tu atención que será en tu corazón y el mío what, what the, what's your daily cigar? My daily cigar. There are two or three. A well aged Millefleur from the Julia. Partagas number four. There you go, mine. Yes. <laughs> and I found this punch. It is the only meter 2017. They are well aged already. Yeah, D number four is one of mine. So. Yeah. And I have to say the new uh, punch, uh, short punch. You didn't try it yet, but it's a really, really nice ago. If you can, it's more every day, obviously, but uh, it's really, really good. Do you have any spe specific rituals by uh, at smoking cigars? No, well, rituals not really, no. I just like I said, I, I, I wet the cap first a little bit. I don't lick it, you know, I don't lick the whole cigar. Just a <laughs> little bit. Just to make sure it doesn't get destroyed when I cut it. Um, sometimes I light it first and then cut it. Vice versa, I, there's no rules. Sometimes I even cut it first and then light it. It's me, it goes by the day. Um, I use chat flames, I use regular flame uh, lighters, ink cutters, or standard cutters, scissors. Like, you know, I try to. Different, different things. Yeah, what about you? <laughs> no, no, no not, nothing special. Maybe the, the only specific of my smoking cigars is I smoke only two cigars. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's something, there something we have to share together, yeah. <laughs> only Cuban cigars. Yeah. It's important, very important. Uh, Robert, your favorite cigar pair? My favorite cigar pair? Yeah. Negroni. <laughs> that's good, that's yeah. good. Also single malt. But why the Negroni? I don't know. Taste. Taste. It's, it's so great for me. You can say it's because of the three times of alcohol. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, but really the taste of it, it's a bitterness? Yeah, the bitterness. I, I like bitterness. Okay. What about beer? Ah, cheers. Also, also. <laughs> what are we drinking here? Spanish beer? Like, yeah. Madrid. 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 But, ah, from Madrid. Even better than Cerveza the best. Especial. Cinco estrellas, let's go. Okay. Well, beer is nice in summer. I mean, it's, you know, it's a nice pairing for me sometimes. You know, beer, cigar. Or it's nice really coffee. Like coffee. Espresso. So you said coffee, that's that's one of my favorite pairings. Like to be honest, best pairing is probably sparkling water. Just sparkling water like uh, you know, cleans your palate. It's just like refreshing, cleans. It's perfect. And it's yeah. You can, more <laughs> you can more peace. Yeah, about. right. Uh, then coffee, rums, yes. But um, if I really be honest, my top is champagne. Champagne is what I like. You admire champagne. Yeah, well, I, I like champagne as well as a, as a product, but I love it to go with, with, with cigar because it's just like, you know, the bubbles? It's like sparkling water, but you have the alcohol a little bit, so it's, it's more fun. So, yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite pairing, absolutely. <laughs> Robert, if you would be a cigar, Cuban cigar, yes. what would that be? Uh, it's a tricky question. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Polygon. Oh, Simon. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be more me if it was working <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <just work>. yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I go with the. No, I don't go with pyramids. So that's too cheap. I don't know. I really don't know. Quintero <laughs> Vanetel. <laughs> I think it would be a cat of say. Cat of say. Elegant. Quite elegant. Fits, no? Yeah. What's your, what's your crown jewel in the universe? Crown jewel? It's hard to say. I know you have a lot. I have. I have many cigars. So, because I have a tower in the cigars. It's not full yet, but maybe some, someday. <laughs> someday. There are some reservas, but as I said already, I prefer aged stunning cigars. I have 2008 Barcadas 898. I have some Barcadas 2009 Barcadas before. I have some Bolivar and Benchok Spinners cabinet selection. They're not so old, 2013. But last time I found a box of 2004, Romeo and Julieta and Moses number two. They're demanding. Well, um, Crown Jewel. You know, I have a lot of single sticks, like they're very sought after, like. like Special humidors that are uh, gifted. So these are kind of like crown jewels. Also, there are two um, cream bar with Davidoff cigars that are in the humidor. That these are my crown jewels yeah. for sure. But uh, important is to, to have the right occasion to smoke them. You know, like, burn it. So far, <laughs> to burn or not to burn. Yeah, to burn or not to burn. <laughs> so I prefer to let them sit. Have the right occasion to smoke. Tell me, Dominic, you are a big influencer, influencer in the cigar world. Yeah, you are. Tell me, what's the good parts of Instagram and what the bad parts? Um, the point good of part is for sure like this. Like you meet people, you uh, make friends, exchange information. You know. Also, you can relate on the community as you can ask them. For help, you know, like for help, it doesn't sound like for money, but for yeah, help, for yes. should I buy this, do you recommend that, or sort of like this one. Um, also very nice to be, as an influencer, being ambassador here, for example, is amazing. Wouldn't be here, the account wouldn't be big, I guess, or we wouldn't be kind of good in what we're doing. So, it's, it's nice to get um, uh, validation of what you're doing. Because it's at, at the end, it's, it's kind of work as well. It's not only you know, fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Downside of it, there's a lot of people who start to dislike stuff that you like, or you know, you, you think people would like. Uh, haters, haters come with, with that. Uh, but it's normal. You know? Haters always not happy. Yeah. What should they? It's like now. It's more jealousy than hate. You know? yeah. But, yeah. It's cool. It's cool for me. I sleep always good at night, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. What about you? Pretty the same. I started with Instagram as a fun. I didn't have any Facebook or any other social media. I was on vacation five years ago. And you start everything in vacation? Yes. So it's very, uh, you have to be I careful. I started on vacation, <laughs> there was not much to do. And I said, I will not have a Facebook account, but I will have an Instagram account. Oh, fair enough. I mean, it's you, it's important, I think, you have your rules. Like, you do the stuff that you like and not please to please other people. You know? Like, just stay yourself, kind yeah. of. Uh, Go there because people want you to go there. 
It's useless. If you want, people follow you because of you. Not... If you find interesting my kind of way, yeah, it's good. If you don't, don't unfollow me. Yeah. <laughs> I have been, I have been uh, very lucky thanks to uh, Havana Club, they invited uh, the group, so, so yeah, I was there with Havana Club, very lucky to be part of that group, and um, we had amazing five days there, seeing all the facilities of Havana Club and Cuba itself, um, went to Corona Factory, uh, Pino de Rio, that was probably my highlight. You know, Vinales, tobacco fields, how they ferment the fermentation, how everything, the production, yeah. Yeah. Um, and smoking fresh Cuban cigar there. Ah, oh, heaven, heaven. That was really top. Yeah, top. I believe. Yeah. Tell me, you're a brand ambassador. What's the best things that most of us, what do you like and why do you prefer to buy it? Well, first of all, they always have this... And recommend to others. Well, I recommend them anyway, but why, what I share with them is for sure like the, the exchange with the community. Like they're always here for more. If you have a problem, you always can go ask, and they always hear like straight away. There's no downtime and sense of customer service is top notch. Like I never hear somebody complain. I have a lot of people who said, oh, I, I bought from one of the Puna cigar stand for, because of your recommendation. And they always said, oh, they're so super nice with the replying me because they have a question, where's my parcel? And they always, on top of that, that game, so that's a little bit Swiss precision in, in this company too. So that's 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 really nice. I think people appreciate that a lot. What about what, what about you as a brand ambassador for the Cigars? Pretty <laughs> same. Pretty same as you. Uh, I I have only good experience with that, yeah. and also I recommend many people who contact me. How, what about Ponte Fortuna, how are they reliable? So, I got many, many good uh, recommendations from the others. They're really fast delivery. Also, customer service is great. So, Robert, tonight is going to be the night. The night. The night. We're gonna with those. What are you gonna? What do you expect? What do you expect? For sure, it will be a great cigar in two years. <laughs> now it will be a great high. <laughs> That's very diplomatic. <laughs> now it will be a great high. Everyone will want to have one, at least one cigar, a box. I hope. Have a great night. Okay. Huh? Certainly will. <laughs> Probably smoke a few cigars. But... Yes, yes. That's for sure. The new Cohiba. I always say the same, actually. I hope it's going to be an amazing night. Um, we're going to trace the new Cohiba on the dosers. Um, what I expect from it. I don't know. I, expect to, I hope it's gonna be great, an amazing cigar. And we're um, gonna enjoy both. And um, maybe we'll have some drinks. Maybe there's Nick Roni if we're lucky. <laughs> As a starter. And uh, we finish with champagne. And then uh, let's see what the night brings. And from this point of uh, uh, time, we're gonna use this GoPro. And you're gonna see everything from this view here, from Robert, myself, and uh, we're gonna take you with us to see the Goliba Novedosos world premiere.
Bye, guys. See you tonight. See you tonight. tonight.